Hello everybody, welcome to this introduction to crochet um, video and thank you for joining us at the recent crochet workshop at Tamworth Library. So in this video I'll just repeat the basic crochet skills we taught you in the workshop. Now just remember there's no right or wrong in crochet as long as you feel comfortable. So what I'll show you is how I hold it but there's several different ways. Just find something you're comfortable with. If um, this is not the way you like it, just Google some basic crochet tutorials and you will find one that you like. Okay, so I hold my hook like you would hold a knife. And that's one of the, there's two uh, main ways to hold your hook. So my way where I hold it like a knife and then there's other people that hold it like a pencil. Whatever works for you or any other way. Just make sure you take regular breaks because it is a repetitive movement and we don't want you injured, okay? So find a way you like to hold your yarn, and, um, your hook. The second one is your yarn. Now, there's different ways to hold your yarn as well. The yarn is, the yarn hand um, gives you your tension. So you want the tension to be nice and even, so your stitches will be nice and even. For me, it works best if I loop it over my um, pointer finger and over my ring finger. That gives me the right amount of tension. Now, I've seen people hold it just over here. That's too loose for me, but it might be right for you. I've seen people curl it around their pinky finger and then over here. If that works for you, use that. Any way that works for you is fine. I just want to show you what I use. Now every crochet project, well nearly every, starts with a slip knot on your hook. So I'll show you the way I make it. And once again, there's plenty of ways you can use. This is how I make it. So there's your short end. Put it over your fingers and then just loop, oops, loop your yarn around. So your short hand is underneath. Short end, not short hand. <laughs> anyway. Then you can either grab it with your fingers, but I find that a bit, as you can see, I'm a bit um, special that way. And there it is. And then you just make it small. But I like to do that with my hook, because it has to go eventually on your hook anyway. So I'll show you again. Short end in the front. Make a cross. So the short end is underneath, put your hook underneath and loop around the long end and then you just pull it and there's your loop. And you just need to make it a little bit smaller, so there you go. So make sure when you start crocheting you don't use this small end because you won't get very far, but I've done it, believe me. Crochet with the long end and hold it any way you like. So I'm going to show you the way I hold it because that's what works for me. So we know our slip knot. For our market bag that we did in the workshop, you only need to know two other stitches with the chain stitch, sorry, and the single crochet. The chain stitch is you work with the stitch on your loop. So hold your yarn, then we yarn over, pull the yarn through the loop on your hook. There's your first chain. We'll do that again a few times. Yarn over, pull your hook through the loop, and there's your chain. Yarn over, pull it through the loop, there's your chain. Pull it through the loop, and there's your chain. So you can make as many or as um, little as you want, depending on the pattern. You just follow the pattern. So see how it has little Vs? So when they say second chain from the loop, one, two, that's your second chain. So let's undo that, and I'll show you the slip knot one more time just so you get a little bit of practice. So the short edge there, cross over, go through, pull that, and just pull it. Okay. So we can start again. So I'll just show you how we started the market bag again. We did two chains. So remember, you go yarn over through the loop. There's your first chain yarn over through the loop that's your second chain 
Now, to do single crochets, in the workshop, we started with this and then made a single crochet in the second loop from the hook. So one, two, that's your second loop. When you make a single crochet in a chain, you only go through one loop because that's all you have. You can't actually go to two because then you're in space. So when you go through that loop, you take the top one. So as we chain stitches, you yarn over, but now we pull the loop through that chain, we yarn over, and then we pull it through both, both the stitches. So that's your single crochet. In the workshop, we did six in that first loop. So let's do that again so you can see how they work. So in through that loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. There's your single. So we've done two singles now. And then make little Vs, see? So you can count them. Let's do that again. Through and two loops. I'll quickly make three more because that's actually the start of the bag and then I'll show you how the rest of the singles go because once you've done your chain with your singles singles will be easier because you go through both the loops and it's stronger so hopefully I've done six now I didn't actually count so I count the stitches so one two three four five six that's six so for the bag single crochet now Make sure you have the long end, not the short end. Go through both the loops of your single crochet. So that's your single crochet there. Go through both loops now. Can you see that? It's a little bit tricky to start with because you have your... It's a little bit tight in the beginning. There we go. But seeing that's what we did in the workshop, I thought I'll show you exactly what we did. Sometimes you just have to wiggle your especially with this yarn. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. Damn. Oh, let's start again, because <laughs> it went through everything. As you can see, we can all make mistakes. <laughs> Try again. There it is. So there's your two loops, pull through, there's your single. Now your next stitch is there. Go through both the loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull through both the loops. It's a little bit tricky with this yarn because it is cotton twine so it splits a bit. So if you want it easier to start with, try just normal 100% cotton you get from your um, wool supplier. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thank you.